Okay, hi. Now, this is another type of question. Uh, very similar, just a little bit different at the bottom. So, uh, that's why I choose this question. So, IGs, October, November 217. So, they give you also, you see, e uh, equations are given. So, it's a copper 2 oxide reacts with dilute hydrochloric acid, yeah, copper 2 oxide, hydrochloric acid. So, it's good you write the ratio on top. 1, ratio 2, ratio 1. Ratio one, okay. So usually all this we just ignore, not very useful. Then they give you these details: six gram of copper two oxide. So when you see this, uh, write a small m. Just remind you grams were added to fifty cm cube, one mole per dm cube hydrochloric acid. So once you see this, uh, so it's good to label. I like to label it like this, makes it easier. So uh, when you see mole per dm cube, this is a big m. When you see this cm cube volume, put a v. So, and then there's excess of copper dioxide. So then the standard question, uh, calculate the number of moles. So you see number of moles, small n, of copper dioxide added to hydrochloric acid. So copper dioxide come to here. And they give us the mass, want us to find the number of moles. They give us in grams. So recall, mass over molar mass. Okay. So just put in 6 divided by oh, molar mass or relative mass of copper dioxide. If it's not given, you have to find from the periodic table. So, copper, 64. Okay. So, uh, oxide, oxygen, 16. So, we see oxygen, we use it a lot. Make sure you remember. So, easily, use the calculator. Plug in. 6 divided by 64 plus 16. So, 0 0.075 mole. Okay. So, put it here. Done. Easy. Okay. Next, calculate the number of moles, once again, small n, of hydrochloric acid. So refer to the question. Oh, hydrochloric acid given M, given V, given concentration, given the volume. So when you see this, oh, recall the formula MV over 1000. So like I say, these are the useful formulas. So then when you M, put it 1. V, 50, divided by 1000. So easily. Just use your calculator, 150 divided by 1000, 0 0.05 mo, 0.05 mo. So since they write it here, you can skip. Okay, done. So this is the, the how they test you, whether you know how to use the formula. And then it comes to the question number three, calculate the mass of copper dioxide that did not react. Now, when you have this kind of question, this is what we call as the question we relates to excess and limiting reagent okay so we need to find out which is excess which is the limiting reagent but very easy use the equation here so they say cuo okay and ratio to 2 hcl 1 ratio 2 okay which means if we take this there's whatever what, what that we have calculated if we have this 0.05 mole of hydrochloric acid. You take 0.05 mole of hydrochloric acid to ratio 1. So we require half of this of copper oxide. So half of this, just take your calculator. 0.05 divided by 2. So it'll be 0.025 mole. Okay. So from here we can see, oh, we supply 0.075, but we use 0.025. So let me write down clearly for you. Okay, so we supply here copper two oxide of 0 0.075. Okay, but we only use 0 0.025. So the excess will be this minus this 0 0.050 mole. So this is excess. Okay, so they also mentioned. This was excess in copper dioxide. So the one excess, we leave it. We always use the one that is not excess. So we jump over here. Okay. So they give you all, all this kind of clue, which is useful. Uh, so since they said, oh, mass that did not react, did not react, is the one that is excess. Okay. So we use this. So once again, recall the formula for mass. Since we want to find M, the mass. So 0 0.05 times the molar mass of uh, copper 2 oxide. Since it's all about copper 2 oxide. Okay. 
So copper dioxide we can use here. Okay, 64 plus 16. Okay, so use the calculator. 64 plus 16 times 0 0.05. So 4 grams. 4 grams. Okay, so this you might want to replay the video to understand this again. Thank you.